Trembanish Primary School acknowledges the traditional owners of this land on which we are gathered. And pay our respects to the elders both past and present. Well, as I mentioned last week, uh, this week we've seen our Year Ones go off on their swimming program to Casey Race. Um, and once again, just like our Year Fours from last week, we've had fantastic reports of excellent behaviour from our Year One students down at the pool. Um, and once again, have been learning some really valuable skills. And our prep students commence their swimming program next week. So we're looking forward to hearing about that as well. Today we had our first visit from our 2017 prep students. Uh, that was our first transition session um, and again that was really well attended and it was great to see some of our new faces uh, that will be around the school next year. We have got our next transition session coming up in a couple of weeks time so if you did miss today's session um, please make sure you've got the details for next for the next session um, and once again if you know of anyone or if you have anyone that is uh, planning on joining Cranbourne East Primary School as a prep student next year um, those people need to contact the office straight away if they haven't already enrolled. And next week we welcome back Mr Rolf from his holiday so it'll be fantastic to see him back next week and hear all about his trip um, and I'm sure he will share um, some of that with you next week on online assembly. So have a wonderful week everyone um, and I look forward to seeing you all around the school. Bye now.
welcome everyone to Mrs Wrigley's Riddle. Well, as promised, this week I have my very first special guest, Riddler. And this week I've got Hazel with me from 2W and she's going to give you the riddle for this week. Hazel, what's your riddle? My riddle is, which bird is always out of breath? All right, which bird is always out of breath? 10 seconds thinking time, see if you can work it out with the person next to you. Alright, how did you go? Did you work out the answer? The question was, which bird is always out of breath? And Hazel, what's the answer? The answer is a puffin. A puffin. Well done, what a great riddle. How did you think of that one? I searched the riddle in the library. Fantastic, did a bit of research. Well done. We'll keep those riddles coming. The box is still in the library, so if you can think of a riddle that you would like to go into the box, you could be my next special guest star on next week's assembly. Thank you very much, Hazel, and we'll see you all again next week. Bye. Say bye. Bye. The money for the beanbag is from the blue light district. The beanbag will be placed in the library near the purple dot corner. The SRCs have made some rules with it, with it placed near the beanbag. Thank you for the people that went to Blue Light Cisco and raised lots of money for the school. Next time, ask your parents if you can come to the blue light district to help raise money for the school. Thank you. On Monday the 10th of October, the Future Stars team represented our school at Regional Hoop Time Finals at Danny Nong Stadium. In the team, there was Tegan, Parab, Brad, Callum, Michelle, Lisa, Joel, Sarai, Lahari and Mal, all from Year 6. We competed in four games. Sadly, we lost three but managed to pull a win in one of them. We got to meet Iggy, a player from Melbourne United. He signed our shoes and basketballs and we got a photo. We all had a fun day and played really well as a team. Starting today, the SLC will be at the library door to 
help you find clothes. We will be wearing yellow vests and standing outside the library door for the first five minutes of lunch. There will be a lunchtime club poster on the window. Come and see us if you want help finding a club. Last week, 135 students received bronze mathematics certificates and 29 students received a silver certificate. Congratulations to the following students for receiving a gold certificate. Nianika and Divjot in Year 1, Atul and CJ in Year 3. 
Don't forget boys and girls to log on to Mathletics at home and of course, have a great day.